So I have on my night clothes because I'm ready to go to sleep. But I'm still going to be doing Pisces, dealing with certain signs for the month of September. So I'm going to be getting that out. Um, there will be an extended reading, okay? So if you want the extended reading to this, you will have to pay $5.55, you guys. So let's get into it. All right, Pisces. If you are dealing with an Aries. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it in order from the zodiac signs in order. So Pisces dealing with an Aries. Let's see what's happening in the month of September. How this person is coming towards you in love, romance, feelings, you know, Pisces dealing with an Aries. Okay. All of my Pisces dealing with an Aries spirit can give me the message here in regards to my Pisces dealing with an Aries. I'll do the Celtic cross. All right. What is the overall energy that this Aries has for you, Pisces? What is the overall energy that this Aries has for you, Pisces? What is the overall energy that this Aries has for my Pisces? God, crap. <laughs> oh, the Empress. The Empress. If you're dealing with an Aries, this person's overall energy of you is the Empress here. You could be the mother of this person's child. You could be the father of this person's child, signifying feminine energy very strongly here. This person here really feels like you are abundant you are attractive, you are sexy, you are gorgeous, you are on top. Um, there's a great deal of emphasis that they're putting on you. This person's overall energy of you really is very like abundance. They want growth and abundance with you in some way and somehow. It doesn't mean that they want to have growth and abundance in a way where you know, like they're kind of winning with you because I see the page of pentacles right here. This could have to do with some of you guys that have a mother, like the mother of their child, um, the father of their child. This could also have to do with finances and stuff, something here that they want from you. This could have to do with them wanting a child from you, you know, wanting something like that. Um, but they do want some type of abundance or success here. And I feel like in the current moment, the six of, six of wands in reverse. So this person feels like they're not having victory. Oh, so this person feels like you may be triumph, triumph. You may be triumphing. Is that was the word? I'm hearing triumph. So you try, you trump them or you're trumping them or you're, you're being triumphant, uh, something like that over them. So right now they feel like they're not having victory here with you. Um, so this could be in regards to um, a kid or a situation where there is a kid involved. For some of you guys, this could have to do with passion, right? They feel like you're beautiful, you're, you're vibrant, you're exuberant, you are, you know, you have a lot of attention, um, you get a lot of attention. They feel, they think highly of you in regards to you being very beautiful, wanting abundance with you, wanting success with you. But at the same time, you see their ego, because in the current moment, I feel like I feel like they have a big head. I feel like they have a sense of inflated ego here in regards of them maybe getting you, getting what they want from you. And I feel like in the current moment, they don't feel like they're having victory here with you. Um, but I feel like they kind of want your attention. So what's challenging them is the moon. Could be Piscean energy, you, right? You could be the challenge for them. Could be Cancerian energy. It definitely feels like what's challenging them is... You're challenging them, but the way that you're challenging them is because of their inflated ego. Like this is somebody who the challenge here is that they are not they are not being it feels like they're not showing you their authentic self, their true self. Like I feel like they're they're hiding something here from you. It's weird. They're hiding the fact that they want this abundance with you, that they want success with you that they want to triumph with you, <laughs> okay? This is all happening because of Five of Cups. 
there's some type of emotional dissatisfaction that they're trying to overcome here. And it has a lot to do with them not having the victory that they wanted. Not feeling very victorious here. Um, they're trying to overcome some type of emotional disappointment here, possibly in regards to you, where things could have gone, where things did not go, where things led. I feel like in the past, you and this person had a tower moment. Maybe there was a separation. Maybe there was a blowout. Maybe there was an argument. Maybe there was a breakdown here in communication or just a separation altogether. Um, things really fell apart. You and this person really fell apart. Okay. There was definitely a tower moment, but it's crazy because in this tower moment, I feel like you were triumphant. That's the word. You were triumphant. I feel like whatever this breakdown was, whatever this, uh, this, this, this really, really big thing that came and like really messed up everything here. I feel like in the past, this could have been what they have, they did. Um, could have been a three-party situation, could have been a situation like that. Shit could have hit the fan is what I'm hearing. And things here that was secretive or that was in the dark, things was just, it, it just came crashing and it was revealed all at once. It was just like, boom, you know, I feel like this person definitely had a tower moment with you in the past. And I feel like you were triumphant and you were on top. You came out on top in some way. Okay. The best case scenario here in the month of September is the nine of wands. This person is really feeling, uh, this, this person is very inflate their ego, their ego is getting the best of them. They have this inflated sense of ego. Well, it's like where they don't want to see, they don't want to, I'm hearing, don't keep a good dog down. What is that song? Don't keep a good son. It was like on Toy Story or something. I don't know. Maybe it was, but it was like, it's like, they don't want you to see them when they're being like, it's like, don't kick me when I'm down. So they don't want to see, they don't want you to see them as somebody who's not, this Aries is very, um, egotistical or they're very prideful they're very prideful they feel like you're on top they feel like you're doing better without them is what i'm hearing they feel like you're doing better without them so they're very guarded they're very very guarded and they don't want you to see them when they're down or they don't want you to think that they're not winning or that they're not having victory but they're not I also feel like they're taking something out on you. They feel like you're the reason for everything happening here. They, this is somebody who's not really taking any sense of uh, responsibility here. They're very egotistical. They're very prideful. They don't want to take responsibility. They don't want to admit when they're wrong. They're not willing to do that. The best case scenario here, see, that's them, the emperor. Okay, this person is a narcissist. The Nine of Wands and the Emperor here, this person is very narcissistic. Okay, they don't like to admit when they're wrong. They don't like to admit when, you know, when you're right. You and this person did, see, with the Emperor and the Empress here, I feel like you and this person definitely had a 3D connection. I don't feel like this doesn't feel like a very spiritual connection. It feels like a very 3D connection here. You and this person had a 3D connection. Almost like if a sense of you and this person got together, you guys could have been a power couple in the 3D world. Like rule the lands. You guys could have definitely had like it's like uh the pastor in the church and the first lady. And they have a bunch of followers. This is the type of energy you and this person possess. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> this is this person is scary. I feel like I feel like for some of you guys this could be a married couple. I feel like for some of you guys this could be like a power couple. If you guys never got the chance to be that, then I feel like you guys could have really been something in a 3D connection. Um, um, yeah, but the best case scenario, the Emperor in reverse. I mean, this is what's happening in the near future in the month of September. I mean, the best case scenario is that this person is definitely holding a, 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 a big, big grudge towards you in regards to a falling out that you may have or falling out that they may have with you in the past um, where they kind of wanted some type of abundance here. Um, I feel like this person here is definitely holding a grudge in regards to I guess it feels like the way that you made them look to something or someone else because the six of wands is here so 
they're holding a grudge in regards to the way that you made them look it feels like the way that you made them look not the way that you made them feel but just the way that you made them look it could have to do with their feelings too but this is a narcissist so when it comes to emotions like what is that to them this is in the near future is the way they're coming towards you and this is somebody who is very dominating they're bringing a lot of t uh, tyranny here to you they're controlling um, again, some of you guys, this could be a baby father or baby mother, but this person is being very dominating. They're very hard to deal with, um, like controlling presence. Yeah. It's like, they want you to feel powerless. So that's the way they're coming towards you. They want you to feel powerless, but let's be real with this nine of wands and this emperor in reverse with the six of wands in reverse, with you being the overall energy of the empress, they're feeling very powerless to you. For some of you guys, I'm, I don't know why I'm hearing domination. So I feel like you're dominating this person um, in whatever situation that may be going on. They may really feel like you're dominating them or you have dominated them in some way. And I feel like they're not used to that. This is a narcissist energy. This person is not used to being um, dominated at anything. They're not willing to let anyone win at anything. They're not, they're not, this is hard for this person to be a follower they are somebody who people, they want people to follow them, you know? So this person is somebody who's bending the rules um, against authorities, against you. You know what I'm saying? They're going against you head on is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. They have a disdain for authority. They have they have some type of disdain for you um, because you are coming off as someone who is taking the lead or, you know, being on top. Like, they feel some type of way, Pisces. Yes, they do. They feel some type of way. You're the overall energy. Like, you're dominating them, and they don't like that, and they want to dominate you. They want to control the situation. And with the moon being right here, they're challenged like for, i don't know why i'm hearing there could be a domination spell here there could be some type of domination spell or there could be something here where i mean you could have put a domination spell on this person or you could you could just be dominating this person this person feels like powerless in a way to you but they want to because they can't control you and that's that's what they, they can't control the situation or they couldn't control you in some way um, this person is with the emperor and the moon, the, in the near future in September, I feel like this person, I don't know why I want to say this person is losing their fucking mind, but they're not, they, their actions are very irrational. Maybe even like, I don't want to say impulsive, but it's definitely, they, they, their, their actions are based are based off their ego they're they're being drive by their ego to do things here to make themselves look a certain way um in comparison to you but their overall energy is that they want to have abundance and they want to like it's not like i don't feel like they want to have this with you they only want to have this with you if they can control you this is a narcissist if you do what the fuck they want, if you do what I want me, want you to, it's like, if you do what they want, then you guys are good. Say what I want, dress how I want, speak how I want you to. To be honest, this person is really, they're really not able to, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like they're very irrational. Um, they're the, the best case scenario is that they're very paranoid of you. They're, they're very paranoid of you. So I'm going to be honest. They're always like on guard and they're like always on watch. Um, they're very paranoid about you and yeah, it's not healthy. Some of you guys could have been, I don't know if you guys have been doing some type of magic on this person. This person is really jumpy, really paranoid, 
thinking that everyone is out to get them, thinking that everyone is out to ruin their life, thinking you're out to ruin their life, thinking you are ruining their life, thinking you are winning, thinking you are on top, you're, you know, you're, you're dominating or controlling them and, um, or they're, you're controlling the situation. And I also feel like this person is really irrational, paranoid, and they're very ego driven. Um, the emperor in reverse is making with the, the moon here is making me feel like <sighs> this person is, um, they're acting off of fears, like the way that they're reacting to you is based off their fear of you or the fear in regards to you. Before I was rudely interrupted by my father, <laughs> uh, who moved in with me. <laughs> um, like I was saying, I, I like I said, this person is uh, there. They have a very irrational type of uh, motion, movement, feeling towards you. Um, uh, they have a great fear <laughs> in regards to you. Um, it feels like they're acting from irrational emotions and thoughts and fears, um, based off their subconscious mind. It's, this is really weird, you guys. It really, <laughs> it's, it's illusions. This person has a lot of illusions in regards to you, okay? And they're like unraveling. I don't really feel like this person knows what's real from what's not real when it comes to you. They're, they're making up things <laughs> inside of their, they're making themselves feel a certain way towards you that's very negative. They have a very negative energy towards you. Let's go deeper into this reading, you guys, okay? Let's go deeper into this reading. I see you guys in the extended reading. I'm going to be letting you know how this person is coming towards you, how you're coming towards this person, outside influences in the outcome here in the month of September.